Tua Tungo-Vailoa went from growing up in rural Hawaii to having a huge mansion in Miami. But how did he get here? More lifestyle, career, and personal stuff coming up NFL lifestyle mode. For starter, Tua is a shortening of Galo and Diane Tungo-Vailoa's eldest son, whose full name is Tuaninga Manuipola. Quite lengthy, right? <laughs> yeah, let's just stick with Tua. Anywho, Tua was born in Iwa Beach, Hawaii in March of 1998 as the first of four children. He grew up around a Samoan family with his two sisters, Taylor and Tasia, and his brother, Taulia. If you're a big fan of college football, the name Taulia Tongovailoa might sound familiar to you. Not only is he Tua's younger brother, but he's also the star quarterback for the Maryland Terrapins. He holds school records for completions and passing yards and a share of the touchdown records. It's fair to say football runs in the family genes. Tua grew up loving football from a young age and even used to sleep with a football under his arm every night when he was a child. He got inspiration from his grandfather, Seu, who was a respected Samoan in the community that he grew up in. According to Tua's dad, his grandfather knew when he was little that he would play professionally as a top player. And to encourage that endeavor, he would make Tua visit him after every game and sort of go through a progress report. That wasn't all the support Tua got, though. His dad was very invested in his son's going pro and he was even their coach early on. His mom revealed that his manual for training his boys was the Bible and the belt. That's right, the Tungovailoas are good Christians and raise their children in the same way, so that covers the Bible. The belt, according to Tua, came into play whenever he had a bad game or missed an easy pass during training. That's rather extreme, but it all paid off as Tua went on to attend St. Louis School in Honolulu, the same school his mentor, Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Mariota, attended. Tua was regarded as one of the top high school quarterbacks in the country towards the end of his high school career and was awarded the MVP on the Elite 11 roster. During the recruiting cycle, Tua was ranked as a four-star recruit and the top high school prospect in the entire state of Hawaii. And if you think that's impressive, wait till you find out that he had 17 college football scholarship offers. And not just any 17 colleges, we're talking about the very best of college programs like Louisville, Texas A&M, and Washington. A tough decision for sure, and eventually with his father's counsel, he decided to join the University of Alabama. He had a bit of a slow start for the Crimson Tide, being a backup to sophomore quarterback Jalen Hurts. Tua was sure to take advantage of his opportunities when they came with stellar performances, including a game-winning 41-yard touchdown pass to Devontae Smith that won the national championship. Tua was named the offensive MVP of the game and launched him as an Alabama legend. Tua's sophomore year was even more profound as he established his spot as one of the best quarterbacks in the game. He finished the regular season second in the Heisman Trophy voting and set a FBS college passer rating record at 199.4. Talk about outstanding. He also led the Tide to their fourth consecutive college football playoff appearance with an offensive performance for the ages against Oklahoma in the 2018 Orange Bowl. The Crimson Tide ended up losing in the championship game to Trevor Lawrence and the Clemson Tigers. In his junior season, it all went downhill in a game against Mississippi State. Tua was sacked and had his knee forced into the ground, dislocating his hip and breaking the posterior wall, as well as sustaining a fractured nose and a concussion. Yeah, all that in one sack. He announced he'd be foregoing his senior year to enter the 2020 NFL Draft. Although he missed a full season of college football, Tua finished his collegiate career as the holder of numerous records, not only for Alabama, but also the NCAA. That includes passing yards per attempt at 10.9 and adjusted passing yards per attempt at 12.7. That's just impressive. NFL career. Before the gruesome injury, Tua was projected to be the first overall pick in the draft. He still ended up being the fifth overall selection by the Miami Dolphins and he still completed his college degree a few months after the draft with a bachelor's degree in communication studies. Tua is the first left-handed quarterback picked by an NFL team since Tim Tebow in 2010, and he's also the NFL's only starting left-handed quarterback. This was all thanks to his father, who forced him to play with his left hand from a young age. Though Tua's dominant hand is his right, his dad wanted a left-handed son. We all know the NFL, and with incredible skill comes impressive money. 
Tua signed his rookie contract worth four years and $30 million. That's an average annual salary of $7.5 million. He's done a solid job for the Dolphins with over 50 touchdowns and a 95 passer rating over the last three seasons. Before Tua, Miami was considered average at best, making the playoffs only once in the last 12 years. Tua has had a winning record since joining the team and they are now talking playoffs and possibly Super Bowl. After his contract runs out, a very lucrative contract extension is surely on the way for the fan favorite. Word is that the Dolphins are all in on Tua and will probably offer him an extension estimated to be around six years and over $200 million. Talk about a raise. Now we see how he gets that paper. Let's see how he spends that cheese. House. This South Florida two-story beauty of a home is over 4,300 square feet of living space with a recreation area directly across from the entrance featuring tall windows, a two-story ceiling, and a classy chandelier. Tua's mansion also features a very spacious kitchen with a small island, a breakfast bar, quality appliances, granite countertops, and wood cabinetry. The kitchen then opens to the concept floor plan with the family room and dining room, each with satisfying views of the backyard and lake beyond. The family room has a built-in electric fireplace and the house has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a library, den, and a classy office. The upper floor contains the dazzling master suite with polished wood floorings, a private balcony overlooking a lake, a sitting area, an in-suite bath with huge steam showers, double sinks, and a soaking tub. Tua's 6-foot, 217-pound body needs to keep fit, so the home has a garage stocked with $30,000 worth of gym equipment. Outside is just as exotic with a huge patio, a swimming pool, a huge hot tub decked out in palm trees, all with an overwhelming view of the lake in his backyard. Talk about bringing that Miami heat. Cars. First, he got his mother a brand new 2020 Cadillac Escalade worth about $80,000. This luxury SUV evokes Miami glam with five star features, including an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system an all-leather interior, heated seats, self-parking assist, a thumping sound system, and a utility all-wheel drive 420 horsepower V8 engine. Tua then got himself a BMW i8 Super Sports car that accelerates from zero to 60 in four seconds. The Beamer has a transverse mid-engine, all-wheel drive, butterfly doors, and a turbocharged i3 engine. Its electric motor has a range of 23 miles, How's that for luxury? But that's not all though, there's more. Tua then got himself a Ford Flex that cost him $40,000 with an inside cabin equipped with plenty of luxuries. It includes a 12 speaker Sony audio system with Ford Sync 3 touchscreen infotainment system. Tua is said to use this more for everyday living, driving into Miami for practice and just getting around. Talk about flexing that muscle. Tua has said that he's not a fan of jewelry, but from his signing bonus on his rookie contract, he was sure to get some designer earrings, an Apple watch, and a classic signature Rolex watch. Tua is signed to companies like Bose, Muscle Mill, Wingstop, and even Adidas on very lucrative endorsement deals. Love life. He lives his happy private life with his longtime sweetheart, Anna Gore. Gore is a native of High Point, North Carolina, where she was born to her father, who was a businessman, and her mother, a homemaker, in June of 1999. She grew up with four siblings and attended the same high school as Tua, St. Louis School in Hawaii. She met her boo there, and they have been together ever since, as they both attended Alabama. Both of them have kept their relationship private this whole time. No one knew Tua even had a girlfriend, and then it somehow got leaked that they got married in a private ceremony in July of 2022. Tua was reasonably upset about the leak, saying the following, I mean, I prefer to keep my personal life as quiet as possible. Nothing I can do about it. Guys, I've got a wife. <laughs> Quite a way to confirm being married. Charity. Tua doesn't spend only on himself and his family, though. In fact, he's a very charitable guy. He announced that he started the Tua Foundation in February 2021. It's a nonprofit supporting youth initiatives, health and wellness, and other charitable causes, mainly in Hawaii, Alabama, and Miami. 
The foundation has donated hundreds of thousands to many organizations like the North Miami Police Athletic Club, Big Oak Ranch in Springville, Alabama, the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame in Honolulu, his alma mater, St. Louis School, and the Tallapoosa County Girls Ranch. What a man, what a player. Hope you enjoyed this video about Tua Tungo Vailoa.